What's going on, guys? Mr. Gill, back at you. Doing okay? Thought I had disappeared, huh? No. I'm back in virtual land and ready to get on your case for not doing your work. You've had five assignments to do, and some of you have knocked it all out, and some of you have not. I suggest you get on the ball. I'm getting ready to put those grades in power school very, very soon. Okay, last week we talked about rational numbers. And we talked about integers, which is the whole numbers, and they were kind of easy. And I gave you rules for adding and subtracting rational numbers. Now I'm going to give you rules for multiplying and dividing rational numbers. And also, we're going to talk a little bit about fractions and decimals today. So get out your notebook. I'm going to wait on you. Give me five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. Okay. Get your notebooks out. Get ready to take some notes. I'm not up here talking for my help. Let's get started. Okay, um, we're going to learn multiplication rules today. Write them down. Negative times the negative equals a positive. That's right. You heard me. Negative times the positive equals a negative. But Mr. Gill, what about a positive times a negative? It's the same thing. Positive times a negative equals a negative also. But Mr. Gill, what about a positive times a positive? Huh? That's what you've been doing all your life. Well, maybe some of you have. Positive times a positive equals a positive. Got the rules now. Just that simple. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. Check this out. It's negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Uh, negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. 12 times negative 10 is negative 120. And then, you know, 6 times 6 is 36. Make sure you know the rules. Positive right here. Negative right here. Negative right here. And positive right here. Negative times negative equals positive. Negative times positive equals negative. Positive times negative is negative. Positive times positive equals positive. Write down the rules. You see the rules, write it down. Let them marinate in your mind. Let's go over um, let's go over division rules. Guess what, boys and girls? Division rules are the exact same rules as multiplication. That's right, you heard me. Here we go right here. This is what I'm talking about right here. Check it out, partners. Negative divided by negative equals positive. You heard me. Negative divided by positive equals negative. Positive divided by negative equals negative. And positive divided by positive equals positive. Duh. Make sure you know. Yeah, the exact same rules. So, Miss Gill, are you saying when we multiply, we divide, when we divide and multiply? No, they, they, they're different operations, but it's, it's different operations, but they have the same rules. What kind of question was that? Oh, my God. Now, let me give you some examples. Negative 8 divided by negative 8 equals positive 1. I just said, see? Negative divided by negative. Negative 9 divided by positive 3 equals negative 3. Positive 10 divided by negative 2 equals negative 5. 
and 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Make sure you're writing the rules down. I'm going to give you an opportunity to write the rules down. Here we go right here. That's the rules for multiplication rules. You see them right there. And here's the division rules. Multiplication rules, division rules. Multiplication rules, division rules. Multiplication rules, division rules. And then blank screen. Now, boys and girls, we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, last week we talked about integers, you know, positive, negative, whole numbers, no fraction parts, no decimals. Now, I know you guys, you don't like fractions and stuff, because you know why you like fractions? you got to do a little bit of work. That's why you don't like fractions. I'm going to give you the introduction to some fractions, but they got the same rules as the whole numbers. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Negative three and a half minus... Remember that? Subtraction? Keep, flip, change? Keep it, flip it, change it? Now, since they got different denominators, uh-oh, that's going to have to do, you have to go this route. I would make that three and a half, I would make that an improper fraction if I were you guys. Remember, when you got a negative plus a negative, you're going to have a negative answer, but you make sure you're adding. So, in this case, you're going to have to find the lowest common denominator, which is 4. The lowest common denominator is a number that 2 and 4 will go into evenly. And the lowest one is 4. And you use your little Z method, my little Z method. 2 into 4 goes 2 times. 2 times 7 is negative 14. The backwards Z. 4 into 4 goes 1 times. 1 times 1 is 1. Both these are negative. And you come up with your answer. Negative 15 over 4 or negative 3 and maybe 3 and 3 fourths. Uh, wait a minute. Yep. 3 and 3 fourths. That's your answer right there. For those who can't see that, negative 3 and 3 fourths. Any questions? They have the system. It doesn't matter if you got a fraction or not. You follow the same rules. The same rules apply. Even if you got something like this right here. Suppose you had, um, let's go with um, six two thirds times negative one third. When you got a positive times a negative, I would change that six and two thirds. I would change that to an improper fraction would be 20 over three times negative one third. It'd be easier, I think. And that'd be negative 20 on top and three times three is nine. You can keep it like that if you want to. All you can do, negative two and two ninths. You can have an improper fraction as long as you got to reduce the lowest term, you got to simplify it, you can have you can keep it negative 20 over 9, or you can change it to a mixed number, negative 2 and 2 ninths. You still follow the rules. It doesn't matter if you got a decimal or a fraction or a whole number. You follow the rules for multiplying, adding, subtracting, and dividing integers. So if we had this right here going on, partners. Let's say if we had um, negative 7 and a half plus two-thirds. When you got a negative and a positive, when you're adding negative and positive, this ain't multiplication, this is negative, adding. I would, you're going to subtract first. I would change that to an improper fraction, which would be negative 15 over two, and then I bring down to two-thirds. Here we go. What is the common denominator for 2 and 3? Give me a number that 2 and 3 will go into. The lowest number, the LCD, lowest common denominator will be 6. That's right, you heard me. 6. And then you can do your little backwards Z. 2 and 6 goes 3 times. 3 times 15 is negative 45. 
and then three and six goes two times, two times two is four. And you know, negative 45 plus four, you ain't gonna be subtracting. So that'd be negative 41 over six. And if you wanna change that, that would be uh, six and five over six, negative. Everybody got it. Let me ask my cousin. There we go. Any questions? So if you got a mixed number, you got a fraction, I would change that mixed number to an improper fraction. It's just easier to do. But you still follow the same rule. When you got, keep the sign of the biggest number. The biggest number is negative, and you're going to be coming out with a negative number. Remember? Keep the sign of the biggest number. Let's try another one. Let's try this one right here. See what y'all got going on. Negative three-fourths divided by one and one-half. Remember the rules for division? Remember the rules? Negative divided by positive come out to be negative. So your answer, you know it's going to be negative. What I would do right here, I would do negative three-fourths. And then I would change that to, um, I would change that to uh, improper fraction. It would be three-halves. And remember, you're dividing. So you want to do negative three fourths. Keep, flip it, change it. That's right. It works on division, and you come up with negative six over twelve. That can be reduced to lowest terms, and your answer is negative one half. You understand the words coming out of my mouth. Everybody got it. Follow the rules for integers. Or follow the rules for um, multiplying, dividing, adding rational numbers. You should have, you already should know addition and subtraction. I just went over multiplication and division. Let's do one more. Let's do a couple more. Um, let's do some decimals. Suppose you had negative 0 0.7 plus negative 0 0.6. Both of these are negative. Your answer is going to come out to be negative. I would set them up vertically. This is easier. Set them up vertically. Don't be using no calculator. That'll be 3. Carry you 1. Bring your decimal over. Just that simple. Follow the rule. Follow the yellow brick road. 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 Well, that's, that boy is kind of blue, isn't it? Okay. Uh, okay, well, never mind. Uh, suppose you had this right here. Um, there we go. Negative 2.5 minus negative 1.3. You know what you're supposed to do. You know what you're supposed to do with subtraction. Keep, keep it, flip it, change it. In this case, you're going to subtract. I will put negative 2.5 on the top. You know how to subtract. That'll be two right there, one right here. Keep the sign of the largest number, baby, which is negative. Negative 1.2. Everybody got the rules. Guess what? I'm getting ready because you got some eighth grade work to do. Make sure you get it done. It's going to be eighth grade IXLs. We're going to have a couple of already assignments to do. And I had to forget about your book assignments that I gave this past week that I'll be checking on Monday. We're going to see how many people actually did them when I check it. Better have them done. I'm putting in a lot of grades. Are there any questions out there in virtual land? Make sure you're taking notes. Amen. So here we go. This is going to conclude our little segment. But remember, we always like to do a little art. A little art ain't going ain't gonna to hurt nobody. So we're going to do is I like art. Because you like art. It makes it really nice. Okay, 
got that going on, and he did what the Lord did. Nope. 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 Did that. Okay, we got that going on. Okay. And then we're going to do a little bit of this right here. Remember, every, every, come on, come on. Everybody is a star. And it's, it's, you're a star, I'm a star. We're all the stars. And then everybody has a smiley face. Okay, and then, okay, and now get your work done now. Until next time, I'll see you guys out in virtual land. Mr. Gill is signing out. Oh,